Good morning. This week, we're going to be planning to visit one of the nearby places. Um, I'm planning to go to Playa Espadilla and uh, yeah, there's a beach there. So planning to surf there, just spend some time and just explore the neighbor, nearby place of Hako. And this is my first time renting a car and also driving in Costa Rica. So there's a little bit of fear, but I think um, it's just gonna, just gotta do it. So uh, I'm ready, I'm excited, and then let's see, document the whole thing. Document Sunday. So let's get on with our Sunday adventure. This beach, uh, Playa Espadilla, um, it's pretty quiet. It's Sunday morning. It's like about 9.15, 9.30ish. Um, so there's not a lot of people. So I'm gonna try to find a place where I can uh, rent a surfboard. I don't think the waves are so good right now just because I think they're so close to the, the shore. So I might have to just ask the people at the surfboard company and see if it's safe to surf right now or maybe I might have to wait. Other than that, uh, I think the best idea is to just enjoy this. This is like beautiful because you have like the greens on the on the left and then the beach. So amazing, amazing Costa Rica. day and time for some reflection um, so today was the first day of actually renting the car and driving in this beautiful of a country called Costa Rica um, overall the beach is amazing it's so beautiful like they have these rocks in the middle as well uh, so again the views are great uh, the waves I would say again I'm a beginner so I kind of need the waves that I can use to surf um, and the waves are not that big actually um, so it's it's a good uh, beach for you to practice surfing uh, the only challenge is then that I think uh, during the high tide is probably the best because uh, the waves are a little bit further away and then you can actually catch the waves uh, low tide, like it's too close to the shore and uh, the waves just kind of end at the shore. So uh, not the best idea. In terms of driving, oh yeah. So um, driving for the first time and renting a car outside of the US. Um, I think the overall experience was pretty good the first day. It's two lanes, so <laughs> you have to be a little vigilant in terms of like if other cars are passing or not so just have to be careful um, but the roads are clean the roads are like, you know paved so overall it's a good place to drive I think so I know it's a wonderful way to kind of explore Costa Rica as well um, so yeah driving was fantastic and just to kind of end this all like it was just it's just a good day good Sunday good one day trip uh, to a nearby place and Costa Rica has that option of you know getting a car getting into a car for one hour go to this new random place and uh, take in the beauty of Costa Rica so gracias otra vez Costa Rica y pura vida ah mornings so I'm getting ready for an early morning surfing class today. So let's see, hopefully I catch some waves today.
the lessons for this week. So first up, you really need to know are you a regular surfer or are you a goofy surfer? In the surfing world, there's something called a regular surfer, which means that your uh, left foot is dominant. So you put the left foot at the front of the board. And if you're a goofy surfer, then you put the right feet at the front of the board. So depending on that, you learn um, what are you. A regular surfer or are you a goofy surfer? How do you determine that? It's a very simple process. One thing you can do is go up to some stairs and then start climbing. And whichever leg that you put first on the stairs, that would be your dominant leg. A simple thing to find out like what is your dominant feet or dominant foot. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the first tip that I just kind of learned. And the reason why this is so important is because I made a mistake uh, this week. I put the leash on my wrong foot. I put the leash on my dominant foot and that kind of messed up when I was surfing this week. So I realized midway through my surfing class that, wait, my leash was on my left foot, which is my dominant foot. And I was, whenever I was trying to stand up, I was doing it on the wrong foot. So I switched it midway and then I think I was able to catch more waves. The second lesson that I learned with surfing this week is with related to this one specific word, balance. As our philosopher of our times, Thanos said, perfectly balance as all things should be. That is the key to surfing as well. So normally what happens when you're in the water, you're either going to fall to the left or either going to fall to the right. Because if you're on the board, um, the water is never all still. So you have to be able to balance yourself pretty well. Um, I struggled with that a lot this week because again, my board was a little bit uh, shorter for my height and also a little bit lighter for my weight. So yeah, I have to work on my balance and what my uh, surfing instructor told me was one thing I can do is uh, get a sk skateboard and just kind of ride the skateboard lying down so I'm able to get some balance. Um, so yeah, I might have to find a skateboard for that. Otherwise, my other option might be just do some yoga poses. I think it's uh, Navasana is called, where you have to lift yourself, lift the, the chest and the legs up so you get some kind of balance through the core. So yeah, that is the second lesson that I learned, uh, balance. And the last and probably the most important and probably the most cliched lesson for this week. Very simple, don't give up don't give up. Um, what comes down to is that one single wave, right? Uh, same thing, the other day I was with my surfing instructor and then I was not able to catch that uh, any waves in the beginning part. I was about to give up, I was like, let's go home. I don't think uh, my board is correct or my leash is uh, in, not in the correct uh, foot. And I said, no, just let's, let's just keep on going. If I don't catch a wave, that's fine, but let's keep on trying. And then after a couple of instances, I caught that one wave and that changed everything. So I've just learned with surfing that it's all about that one wave. You can fall, you can wipe out many times, but then you catch that one wave. That's probably the best feeling you get. So at least with surfing and this could be applied with life don't give up don't give up and fall down but get back up the water is your friend go back on it see if you listen to it and ride that wave